Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habatu fillah This issue comes up because the reality is in many Muslim countries as well as in the West, Western countries or non-Muslim countries you find Muslim youth faced with the same trials and tribulations that other youth face and one of those tribulations and ways that deceive the believer and infect youth from all over is the tribulation of suicide that many people they just give up now it's easy to say that the person has very weak iman which is probably the case and that they are giving up on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which no doubt there's an element of that as well. But we have to look at the reality of what people face. That some people have mental illness and issues with various forms of dementia or mental illness things. that are. This is a reality. It's easy for someone who maybe is not uh, affected uh, by those ailments, those mental ailments, if you will, or disabilities that do not experience depression, you know, depression, this, these are chemical reactions. There are things, there's a process that's going on and sometimes in people's brain. It's not just a thing of, of their heart or, or something like this. So it depends on a person's situation. So people face real trials and tribulations. Some people with depression, some people, the, the cause for depression could be abuse, physical abuse. It could be sexual abuse. Many people and youth, uh, and unfortunately in our community as well, are have been afflicted by abuse from family members and abuse from people close to the families. And they studies seem to indicate that most of uh, the abuse, sexual abuse, is usually from a family member. And so this is a great crime, but the people that are affected by this they really carry this with them. This changes a person forever. And then many people, they spend the rest of their life on how, you know, trying to cope with that. And that affects their other relationships. It affects them as a person and it can cause depression. It can cause all these things and it can then in turn lead to suicide. So there are many reasons for uh, depression and to lead a person to suicide. So these are real things that we have to face as a nation. And so, as a very important piece of advice, because from time to time, you get asked questions, uh, you know, about depression and about these issues. And so it's very important for us to first and foremost, as uh, was uh, articulated very well, by one of the uh, the du'at in America when he was talking about some of these issues after having been an imam, he mentioned that a lot of these issues, they're not necessarily fatwa-related issues, that the person needs a hukum derived. We know suicide is haram. We know that you know, you should be satisfied with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are issues of Iman. This is one of the pillars of Iman. That's not the issue. The issue is how do people deal with these real feelings that they feel and depression. And what he mentioned was very, very important. And what he said was, is that a lot of Imams obviously are not trained for this and even du'at and that this needs to go to those people who are professionals. So seeking professional advice when one is in a situation like that. If one suffers from depression, the imam can maybe help you and give you some sharia-based tools, but you need to go to the people of that fin, the people of that science who have the experience and, and so on and so forth. But what I will say, and I, and I know some of the youth have problems with, but you do need to look at this, Obviously, you need, if if at all possible, if you can go to a Muslim, and of course, a Muslim psychologist that 
is from Ahl Sunnah preferably. Because if they're, for example, he's Muslim, but he's very secular in his, his mindset, it will be as if he, you went to the non-Muslim almost, because the same type of advice will apply. But however, if that is your only option and you need professional advice, they are the people of that science and that field. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kitab al Karim, as far as asking the people of knowledge, Fasal Ahli Dhikr in Kuntum La Ta'lamun. Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. And likewise, even it has a secular application in that you ask the people of that that fin. If you want to study medical science, you need to st- study in a medical college. You need to go through that process. If you want to be an engineer, you're not going to ask uh, your sheikh about how to, how to, uh, you know, build bridges and how to learn, you know, the, the sciences and, and that are required as an engineer in physics and so on and so forth. You're going to go to the person of that fin for that secular knowledge. And likewise, even with the psychology, but you're going to need to Strive your best to have both medicines, the Sharia-based medicine for the heart to help you rehab your heart with Quran and practicing the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, avoiding the Muharramat, Ruqya, and other Sharia-based cures. But if it's a mental issue, then you also need to deal with that. You need someone you can express yourself to who can help you deal and cope with 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 give you the counseling that you need to deal with your depression. So those are very important uh, things to consider for Muslims who face those issues. So strive your best to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as possible because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem ittaqullah uh, mistata'atum fear Allah uh, as, much as, you, as much as you can. Fear Allah as much as you can. And so it's very important to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and surround yourself with the people of good and iman, good companionship, all of the, those things to help you build yourself and your character. But again, when something is beyond those issues, it's not an issue that's sharia based, meaning uh, the jinn or ayn, you know, hasid, uh, you know, envy or the evil eye or. Uh, something of this related to to that, then it may be an actual mental uh, disposition that someone is in or someone, you know, maybe mentally, you know, they have some issues that need to be worked out and a professional can help them in that fashion. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.